Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and in the last tutorial, I showed you how to create a contact form using Drupal's built-in contact module. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a different module called WebForm. That's a community module that is a much more robust contact system that allows you to create multiple contact forms and create your own fields within them. So, to undo what we did last time, I simply went to Modules and unchecked the Contact Module, and then click Save. Now I'm going to go to Drupal.org, and I'm going to search for WebForm. It's the name of the module. So WebForm is the first one, and as you can see, there is a version for Drupal 7. We'll click Zip, and opening up my Finder, I'll install it just by dragging it into our modules folder as usual. Now we're going to come up to our site and click modules and then down, down, down we're going to be seeing WebForm. Here's WebForm at the very bottom and we'll click save. So where contact form created a contact form for your site, WebForm is a little bit different. WebForm is more like creating a content type. Uh, it allows you to create your own custom fields and configure it specifically per contact form. So as you can see uh, in the configuration options, um, there's a lot here, but this is not necessarily where we're going to be going over most of our, our setting up our contact form like we did in the last one. In, in this case, if we go to uh, content, or if we go to add content, and then we're going to select web form. We're going to create a new web form just like we would create a project page or article. And we're just going to call this contact. And you can have body text here, contact me. And we'll click, actually let's provide a menu link and put this in the main menu. I'll give it away to four so it's at the bottom. And I don't want comments on this contact form. Okay and we'll click Save. Okay, so now it's going to ask us what form components we want. In the last one, it just sort of assumed that we'd want somebody's name and you know what they were contacting about and then a body text. Well, this we can add as many as we'd like and you can have them set to anything. You can see you can have it set to a time, a text field, a text area, um, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to say um, text field and this is going to be just their name. And we want this to be mandatory. We're going to click Add. Okay, and it gives you even more options. We can give it a default value. We can give it a description. Um, we can make sure that all the enter all the entered values are, must be unique. Um, we can give it a max length. We can give it a width, but of course I want to do all this stuff in CSS. We can tell it where the label goes, above, inline, or none. I'm going to say inline and you can have it disabled or you can have it private. So we're going to take a look save component and then the next one we just want to know um, we want to know where they work so we want to say uh, employer. Okay and this is going to be a text field again we'll click add this one won't be mandatory because I don't feel like people need to know um, Okay, we'll just, actually I'm going to have label be inline again. I want to keep that sort of the same. Save component. And we're going to do one last one. We're going to have this be a text area. Actually, let's do something different because the other one had a text area. So let's have um, select options. And we're going to say, um, let's make this be, uh, why? Why are you contacting me? And it's going to be mandatory. Of course, you know, you can add any of these, as many as you want. These are just sort of examples that we're doing here. Okay, so if the user can check multiples, which sure, that sounds good to me. And then here you can do like pairs where it's your key and then a readable option. So we're going to have projects and then the pipe and then projects. Okay. Um, hire, and this is going to display as hire me. Okay. Great, so that's fine for um, these two. We're going to make it mandatory. We want it to be, um, let's see, so it, if we want it to be a list box instead of radio buttons or checkboxes, I'm going to leave it as checkboxes because that's nice and easy. 
uh, display. Actually, for this one, we'll have it be above, and just click Save. As you can see, you can actually even drive, drag these around just like you could other fields. You can clone them if you have a whole bunch that is the same, so you can just edit them later. Um, we're just going to leave it at this for now and click Save. Let's, well, uh, I'm sorry, I might have done that too quickly. Next, we're just going to click over to this Emails tab right here. And this is going to say who it's going to go to. So let's just do my email address. Okay, and we're going to add this. Okay, and you could actually have this uh, component Y. You could have that be who it's sending to. Um, so there's all sorts of options. Um, this this contact form module web form is really configurable. So in here we can change the header details. So here we want the header to just say custom uh, my site contact form. So this is what the um, email subject that you receive is going to be. The default from address is going to be my own address. And usually what I would do is fill out a um, a form item that is their email and make it mandatory and then you can set that component to be email but we didn't do that for this one so that's fine email from name we're going to set to name and then here's your template if you notice there's token values in here um, so it says submitted on date uh, submitted by username submitted values are uh, email values and submission URL so if we click this token values, you can see what all of these things mean and you can use all sorts of them. You could throw in their IP address, their um, any of this stuff. And what this, um, what this email values is, is this is all of the values from the contact form. If we click this included email values, it's going to say you can select which ones you want to include. If you want to check these, they won't be in the email and they will not be included under this email values. We're just going to click this save email settings because that's all we need to set up now. If you want the form to go to different people, then you can add more people here and then change the options per person. Now we're going to click form settings and now you can see a confirmation message. This is going to be displayed, or you can have them send to a custom URL. I'm just going to say, um, thanks for filling out the form, period. Of course, I might want to write a little bit nicer message or create my own separate page for this. But for now, just for demonstration purposes, that's fine. Again, we, again, we can use token values. Um, you can have total submission limits per user submission limits, status of this form. I mean, all this stuff is really robust in comparison to the, you've created your contact form, here it is. So if you need more robust options, web form is definitely the way to go. However, if you need a simple contact form, this takes a lot more time to set up and you might not need to go through all this. Um, advanced settings, you can have this contact form available as a block in case you wanna put this on a page, maybe throw it in your footer or something. Um, uh, you can you can do all sorts of stuff. So let's just click save. Okay, our contact form has been created. Let's just click view. As you can see, here it is. Your name, your employer, projects, hire me. I can select multiple this, multiples of these. And if I were to have this on my server and I click submit, it would send that email that we configured for it to send. If you'll notice, I also added it to the menu. Uh, and this time, the main navigation and the URL is just contact. Okay, well that's how to set up a contact form using web form, a Drupal module that makes contact forms more robust. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Once again, this is Scott and thanks for watching. Bye.